Hey, I'm Fowler, and I'm really proud to introduce to you my first official tuning product, the Fowler Tuning Knock Detective. This is an audio knock detection system that fits into a 52 millimeter standard gauge housing, so you can put it right next to your wideband AFR gauge and have everything you need to dial in your fueling and timing tables safely. To show you how I use my knock detective, today we're sitting in my 1993 Mitsubishi Evo 1. It has a lightly modified 4G63, running about 16 pounds of boost on a 20G turbo with 91 octane. It's nothing crazy, but it's definitely good enough to show you what knock sounds like and looks like. So let me give you a quick rundown on the gauge itself. At the very top, we have the sensitivity control, which is adjustable with a small Phillips head screwdriver. We have six bright LEDs to indicate the knock signal level. The big knob in the center, which you can get in either purple or red, is the headphone output volume control. And then underneath is the headphone output itself. This will power any standard headphones, but also you can hook this up to your aux input if you have a car stereo and listen to the inside of your engine on the speakers in your car, which is always pretty cool. Wiring up the gauge is super easy. All you have to do is give it 12 volts in ground, then it has two knock sensor inputs in case you want to run two knock sensors on a V-style engine. Uh, you can also just run one knock sensor like I am doing today. And then it has a zero to five volt analog output for you to data log and see where the knock is occurring. All right, now that you have the included knock sensor installed and the gauge wired up, let me show you how easy it is to use the knock detective. So the first thing you need is a good set of headphones. I really like these in-ear monitor style because they act like earplugs. This is a Shure 215 and they work awesome. Uh, this basically drowns out a lot of the external noise, exhaust, road noise, etc., and lets you focus solely on the sound of the engine. So now that we have our headphones on and plugged into the knock detective, it's time Time to start the car. So now that the car's running, it's time to roughly set the sensitivity level. The way that I like to do this is to rev the engine up to about four or 5,000 RPM in neutral and adjust the sensitivity pot until you just see one LED start to blink. You might end up adjusting this as you go, but this is definitely a good place to start. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to disable the factory knock detection in my ECU, just so that we can hear some really bad knock. I definitely wouldn't recommend you do this, but I'm just trying to show you what real bad knock sounds like. Let's take the car for a drive. We're gonna stay at a boost. We're gonna just cruise along and get used to the sound of our engine while we're driving. It's good to vary the throttle, rev it out, hear how it sounds when it gets higher on the RPM. Watch the LEDs, see how they react when you rev it out. So that was very light throttle but I could still tell that I was lighting up three of my LEDs at the top end, so I might wanna turn the sensitivity down just a little bit. I'm gonna pull over and do that now. Now let's dig into the ignition timing. So I've started a data log, and as you can see, I'm logging the zero to five volt analog output from the knock detective. It's showing up as PSI. That doesn't really matter. It's just a limitation of the ECU that I'm using. It's not that number that's important. It's the shape of the line that it generates, and you'll see what I mean in a second. We've hopped over to the ignition timing table. I'm gonna grab 3,000 to 3,500. I'm gonna pull one, two, three, four degrees of timing out, all right? This is gonna be very, very safe just because I know what this car likes. So let's save this to the ECU and go get into that area of the map and see what happens. So I'm in third gear. I'm gonna use my left foot on the brake in order to hold me in the RPM range as I load it up. So now what we're gonna do is add two degrees at a time, do a pull, add two degrees, do a pull, add two degrees, etc. And you're gonna hear it start to knock once I get to a certain point. That's the knock threshold of that area of the map. Okay, let's do that now.
Okay, so you're starting to hear the rattly sound of knock in there. As we increase the timing, we have gone past the knock threshold. But just to really show you what it sounds like, I'm gonna add another two degrees and you should hear some definite knock now. I really don't like doing that, but I want you to know what it sounds like. You know what, let's add two more degrees. Pray for my engine, and let's hear what really, really, really bad knock sounds like. So when it comes to your ignition timing, don't just copy and paste some numbers from the internet or pull a bunch of timing to be safe. Listen to your engine, give it what it actually wants, and you can do that with the Fowler Tuning Knock Detective. If you're interested in picking one up, head over to my website, fowlertuning.com, and remember, nerds go faster.